Hi there. I am so grateful that you are taking a look at this Zoom today. My name is Kristen Adams, and today um, I'm going to be interviewing my friend and partner here at Vela Vida, Lydia. And Lydia is an AKC registered handler. She's been showing dogs for 25 years. Um, she owns a grooming and boarding shop, also a breeder of merit. So she knows all about dogs and pets in general, right, Lydia? Yes, that is correct. Awesome. And a little bit about me. I am a nurse practitioner by trade, and I have been recommending these products for uh, about a year now, not quite. And we just launched a new product that is super pet friendly, and it's actually biohacking wearable technology. And so maybe you are checking this out because you're a you know person and you've been using the Velavita products, and you're curious how the tune could be beneficial to your pets. So that's what this call is really going to be about. Now, Lydia, when you started looking at the tune and saw how it could be beneficial to animals, what were your first thoughts? My first thoughts were, I think that this is an amazing product that could potentially uh, get dogs off of uh, any kind of not antibiotic or medicine that honestly, it does good, but then it hurts their body at the same time. So I thought this could help in so many different ways and I have to try it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you have um, a puppy at your house. How many dogs do you have? I have four dogs uh, of my own at my house, but at any given day, we have about 40 dogs here. Oh, that's a lot of dogs. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a dog mom too. I have four children and I started using this on my kids first. And what I noticed with my children was it took a lot of their worry and their stress away. They were able to focus better. They didn't get as irritated or as anxious when things didn't go their way. I mean, we've got toddlers to college age and they're all girls. So, you know, there's lots of drama in our house. And so we adopted two puppies that are siblings, which I didn't know you weren't really supposed to do, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. We bought, got them from a farm. They're just good old farm dogs. And um, so they had a lot of kind of anxiety and we started separating them as they were getting a little bit older. And so mm -hmm. I hung one of these tunes between their two kennels when they sleep at night. And we went from the, at the kennel all the time. I don't know if you guys can hear my nails. They used to just like beat at the door for like hours because they want to either get to each other, or get out to just quiet sleep. It was amazing. They're now eight months old. And at night we hang a tune in, on like a little hook between their two kennels and they yeah. sleep all night. There's no barking. They don't whine at each other. It's amazing. What's been your experience with your dogs? Well, I actually really quick want to talk about what's going on your dogs. Okay. <laughs> what they're doing. So a lot of people don't realize that when your dogs are digging at their the bottom of their crate or they're digging at your carpet a lot of people say their dogs are just digging a lot of times our dogs and this is actually uh backed by by uh scientific proof that your dogs are looking to ground themselves that's why they're digging they're trying to get to those electrons that are in the earth because you you i guess the way to think about this is Dogs are, are primal animals. They they were outside all the time. And so when we're, they're in the house, they're not getting those negatively charged particles. And so that's why they're digging. And the stress res response for that. So that's a lot of people think, okay, it's just this. That's what they're trying to do. But my response, I have, a, I have an 11-year-old Doberman who is on just Rimadyl twice a day, the vets are just like, you know, she's got arthritis. It's just going to be what it is. And we walk four miles a day, every day here with the dogs. And she just, she would have a hard time. She would have a hard time getting off her bed. She'd have a hard time getting off the couch because yes, my dogs are allowed on the furniture. And so what I did with her is I put, my dogs don't have collars. We live out in the middle of nowhere. I've got 40 acres. They don't have collars on. I put a tune under her bed and then I put a tune under the cushion that she sits on, on our couch. And let me tell you within three days, she gets up without any issues. She gets off the couch without any issues and she's out running with my younger dogs. And it has been such a transformation that now I've taken her off the Rimadyl to see, and we still have not had any issues and she's acting like a puppy. That's amazing. 
you get so for me that that's been really amazing with her. Yeah. So I love what you said about the grounding with the dogs. I didn't realize that that's why they were digging at the bottom of their kennels. I thought they were just trying to get to us or to their sibling. Um, but that makes a lot of sense. So as humans, we also used to be outside. We used to not wear rubber soled shoes. We used to be in the dirt with farming and hunting and everything else. Right. And now what do we do? We sit in our comfy uh, offices, we drive our cars, we wear our Nikes, and we are not getting that grounding frequency. Now, the frequency of the earth is 7.83 hertz. So not only do you want to let those negative ions from the ground come into your body and balance your body out and get rid of all the positive ions, but you also want to get to that frequency. And so this necklace actually is charged with the frequency of the earth. So not only is it relieving that barrier of ions, but it's also getting your body in sync. Now, for humans and pets, our DNA, our brain cell, our brain function, our brain waves, our EKG, everything is actually in 7.83 hertz in our body. And so when our bodies are balanced to that frequency, our bodies are able to heal easier. They're able to identify disease or, you know, an area that needs to be repaired easier. So humans are noticing that they're not feeling as emotionally drained, but also that things that have been, they've been struggling with symptom wise are being relieved. Now, pets are unable to use their words to tell us, of course, they're dogs. Yeah. So seeing a puppy or a dog jump around from being, you know, arthritic and not moving a whole lot to being able to play with the younger dogs is a huge testimony. Mm -hmm. Now, I um these come with just a single loop. And so one of the things that we've done with our pets is we've added like a carabiner to attach it into uh, their, their harnesses so that it's underneath them and it's pressed against their bodies when they wear it. How do you put yours? You just wear, put yours underneath your dogs. So you don't have them wear it all the time. I, I don't just because we don't have collars have dogs here because mm -hmm. they're running and there's so much sagebrush. I don't want a collar to get. Yeah. hit on sagebrush because they run um so no they're not wearing them during the day but yeah I just have them underneath the dog beds and under the cushions now I'm in my office I have two males that are in crates next to me and I've actually had some male aggression with them mm. um one is intact one is neutered we we uh acquired him he was my nephew's dog and they couldn't keep him so you know we have an extra dog with us and I usually don't have two males but it is what it is. And I, I did like what you've done is I've put a tune in between both crates. Mm -hmm. And since we've done that, I have not had any aggression issues between the males. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's been an amazing thing, but another huge, big thing for me, um, I breed Doberman pinchers. That's, that's my breed. It's my heart animals. Uh, Dobermans have cardiovascular health issues. Cardio is a huge killer in Dobermans. Uh, every year on my dogs, we do echocardiograms, we do Holter monitors. And one of the neatest things that when I started researching into the tune and into grounding is that grounding helps cardiovascular health so much. It helps with the viscosity of the blood. So it works better in their system. And it is just so amazing that anyone who has a breed that has heart, a uh, high risk of cardio this is something, man, I, I would have this with my dog. And yes, if I had collars, I would put it on my dogs um, because it just, it improves the oxygenation to the blood, which helps with uh, your organs being able to receive nu nutrients and then also remove the toxins. And so I, I swear by these things and, and I have them all over the house just because each room my dogs go in, they can have that, that help. Yeah. And, you know, for humans as well, as far as any sort of mammal, this is going to help with that blood flow. So when you talk about viscosity of blood, it's how well they move, the blood cells move next to each other. And we've been hearing a lot of stories about blood thickening, clotting, um, you know, problems with flow. And so because this helps your body balance those electrons, you're going to have better flow. And um, you also had discussed this with your vet. This is my child popping in here. <laughs> um, tell me, what did your vet experience with grounding when he was recommending it or as he recommends it? So, um, yeah, my vet was really excited that uh, I knew about grounding because he works with grounding with animals. And he uh, had given me some 
some different uh, testimonials that he has had. Uh, he said that uh, he had a 12 year old Westie, uh, which is a West Highland Terrier that came in and they were a new client and the dog had uh, skin irritations. The dog was on um, massive allergy pills. Uh, same thing as my dog with the uh, Rimadyl because she had uh, arthritis. And he said that he got, he told them, he said, first of all, you need to have the dog being grounded. And I love that my vet does both homeopathic and then also uh, modern medicine, but they got the dog and he said to the owner, he said, you need to have your dog outside. And she's like, well, well I do take my dog out for a walk. And he goes, are you walking your dog on uh, asphalt or concrete? And she goes, yes. And, and he said, no, your dog needs to have their paws on dirt or grass. And so she started taking her dog out onto the yard one hour a day. And he said within three weeks, the dog no longer had any skin irritation and they cut the Rimadyl down in half. Wow. And so he just, he swears by grounding. Um, He talked about a, a, a rat and uh, yeah, to each their own with their pets. He said, somebody bought, brought a rat in that had a stroke and he recommended they put the dog down or the, the rat down. And, and they said, no, we don't want to. Um, so he actually got a grounding band. It was just something that they had. And he said within 24 hours, the rat had functioned back to their body. It was moving. And within 48 hours, it was eating on its own and went home and was perfectly fine. And so the effects of grounding are so healing to your body. Again, with that blood flow and the oxygenation, it heals wounds wounds it heals tissue that's been damaged um it's just an amazing thing yeah and stamina as well and performance if you um have pets that are performance animals this is huge mm -hmm. um we have people who ride horses that swear by putting a tune um you know the, a lot of people have sewn these into things like uh their saddles and things like that so it's near the animal but not you know, banging and annoying the animal um, because animals aren't like us where we can say, oh, I'm wearing a necklace now. You know, they have to get used to stuff. So finding a way that works best for your pet um, is key. My mom has a uh, retired now medical support dog from when my dad was ill and had seizures. And now the dog's just living his best life because my dad is in heaven. And she has a very thick uh, collar for that dog because it was um, at one point a, you know, medical help dog. So it's used to that. And so she has sewn this onto the patch to be able to put between the patch and that so it doesn't bang on him. And that dog uh, used to get very irritated that it didn't have work to do, essentially. So it would like try to nudge my mom around. And now mm -hmm. he's just a calm, well-mannered, big old lazy house lab um, and isn't stressed because he doesn't have to work looking for seizures like he had done for years. So it's just interesting how it can be used in so many different ways parts of life when it comes to humans and pets. Um, and so you can get your hands on this by going to the website of the person who recommended this to you. Uh, they do come in gold, as you see with us holding it. You can also get them in black. And if you want to know more about becoming an affiliate program, um, if you are a vet or if you just know a lot of people or are passionate about spread, spreading this, we are training affiliates right now. It is free to join and we would love to welcome you to the team. Thanks so much for watching. Any last words before we go, Lydia? Uh, I would just say get them as fast as you possibly can because you will notice a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they do come with a 60-day money-back guarantee. So you don't have any risk in giving them a try. Have mm -hmm. a great day, everyone. Bye.